everybody. This is Lama Ready. Hold up a second. Today I'm gonna show you how to uh, talk using Adobe Audition in real time, along with using the T Pain effects and maybe some other effects. All right, first let me fit this to the size of the screen real fast. Okay, you can see I already have Adobe Audition open. First thing you want to do is you want to go to Effect or Edit. You want to click Edit. This is before you even record anything in the multi-track view. As you can see, I got the multi-track view up right here. Go to Edit, Audio Hardware Setup, and then you'll get a little box that pops up here. All right. You don't really need to worry about the Edit view. Just use the multi-track view. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on Control Panel. All right, it might look something like this, it might not. You need to find your buffer size, which mine, the lowest mine will go is 512. If I try to set it at 511, or yeah, it'll go back to 512. You wanna make sure you have your uh, microphone selected up in here. You want a direct sound output, and you want full duplex, hit okay. What that is, that is your, your delay. Like when you talk into the microphone, it's the time spent from the time that the voice is sent from the input to your sound card to the output of your sound card and when it's heard. If it's really high and you say something, it might take a couple seconds before you actually hear it out the speakers. Alright, so now that we got that, what you're going to do is you're going to select your multi-track that you're going to record out of, which is going to be this. I can't click it yet for the simple fact I'm making a tutorial and you'll hear me twice. Then what you're going to do is the next thing you're going to go to Options, Monitoring, Audition Mix. You're going to select Always Input. That's Options, Monitoring, Audition Mix, Always Input. You have two here, Smart Input and Always Input. You want to select the Always Input. All right. Right here, the FX. That's your effects. Click that. You'll see this will change right here. Right there. You want to go to your Direct X. Antares Auto Tune 4. Alright. And then right here, up in the type right hand corner, you have two X's. Don't right here where my uh, mouse is, do not click that X because that will kill that effect. You want to hit that X right there. Alright. Then when you hit record, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you where you want to save it. I always just save it there as unentitled. And then you'll be able to hear me two you times with the Antares Auto Tune effects. Two, Two times. times. That's all there is to it. And I'll make uh, a little recording here. That way you can uh, hear the Antares Auto Tune effects. Alright, I'm back. I had to go do some stuff real fast. Uh, where was we? Alright, as you can see, we have the Auto Tune effects in real time. If I hit the record button right here you can hear me talking twice uh, with the auto-tune effects now for those of you who don't know how to get the auto-tune effects I might as well show you how I've already put out two other tutorials on how to do it uh, let me see all right right here is what auto tune looks like you want to put the input type at soprano voice uh... i usually keep the c for the key the key is c if you click that down it's got all the different c's in here sometimes i'll put it on g but most of the time i keep it on c uh... the scale is either major or minor major sounds a lot better don't worry about those right there just leave those right there uh... retune is at zero tracking Anywhere from 75 to 100. Anywhere from 75 to 100. I always, uh, the improved targeting, it always seems to help with the uh, retuning of my voice when I use uh, Cool Edit, or when I use uh, Antares Auto Tune with Cool Edit Pro. Uh, you can either leave that off or turn it on. The shape, you can play around with those. You get a little bit of different effect 
Uh, I've noticed with the sine wave, uh, it kind of sounds like it's going downhill, then back uphill instead of just jumping down steps with your voice, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, the rate, 0 0.1 variation. Onset delay, onset rate, and pitch is all zero. The amplitude, keep that all the way up at 30. The format, all the way up at 100. All right. Now remember, don't hit that X right there. Hit this X right here. If you want, if you're getting a little bit too much bass, bass through your uh, voice when you're coming through your speakers, you can hit this right here, and then just go to filters and equalizer, graphic equalizer, and use this. Turn the bass, you know, all the way down this about right here. This is all bass within right here. Um, when you do use this, you may get a little bit of delay with your voice. I'll show you the difference, what it sounds like. Alright, right. this, is, this me is me using, using this equalizer. Black, 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 black. See how it kind of lags, lags a little bit? Lags. And if I turn that all the way up, in this, you can hear some can bass hear some coming through my subs. You can play around with it. Keep that there if you want. I usually use it a little bit. Uh, it puts a li it, at first it put a little bit of lag into mine, but I exited out, brought it back up, and saved the settings. Well, I'm hearing myself twice. Anyway, I exited out and brought it back up, and the lag stopped. Uh, that's really pretty much everything I have for this tutorial. Uh, that's how you do the uh, real time recording. Um, do me a favor, click the subscribe link. That's up in the left hand corner of your. Or wait. The right hand corner of your screen, got it right this time, the right hand corner, and I will definitely be sure to put some more tutorials up of Adobe Audition, Cool Edit Pro, and Terra's Autotune, uh, and any other sound slash mixing that I can think of. Also, check out my next tutorial, I just remembered what I'm going to make my next one about. How to master your audio and make it sound a lot better. It, what it does is it brings the vocals on top of the beat. So check out my next tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Oh yeah, if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Yahoo Messenger under the name Fuck. F-U-C-C. -C. Peace. Oh yeah, check out my MySpace at www.myspace.com forward slash 419 lamer eddie that's 419 l-a-m-e-r-e-d-d-i-e -E -E. beast